good afternoon everyone. This is Henry Gamble with simpleroptions.com and in today's free video I wanted to share some ideas with you on SPX. SPX obviously is the cash index for the S&P market and one of the big themes that we have been following in this is how it's really had a way of gravitating towards this 2100 strike. So you can see how for months now, and of course there's been a lot of radical movement inside of that, but you can see several times where we have settled and maintained this range of 2100. I think this is especially important to think about with the FOMC meeting that we're going to have in the middle of next week, because everyone is looking for a big move from it. You know, are they going to raise rates? Is this the big time for the market to move? And more what I'm looking for is the idea that we will continue to revolve around 2100. Maybe we spike 20 points lower, maybe we rally 20 points higher, but when you get into Friday of next week, I think we're going to be right where we sit right now. So what are a couple of ways that you can try to participate off of that? Well, heading into this week, we've had a couple of ways that we've looked at it. I've had some broken wing butterflies that were a great strategy to use when you were looking for the market to head down into that area, but there's just a very different way of looking at it when you're trying to get the drop versus saying, okay, now we're right in the middle of this range, what type of strategy would you be using now? It's not perfect because we sit at 2096, which 2100 would be the ideal level. If we go out into next week's contracts, make sure you, I'm going to choose the ones that have six days of life left. Typically, these will be the ones that have a little bit more volume as well. And you can already see a huge amount of open interest and volume going across here at 2100. So the most straightforward way to play this would be to sell, and in Think or Swim you would configure this as an iron condor. Technically it's an iron fly because we're going to move the body of this put up into 2100 and then I will also make sure that that is balanced. You're taking in a little bit more credit on the put side here because you're selling that $4 in the money, but the strategy as a whole will only give you $1.65 of risk with the opportunity to make $8.35 and I've really enjoyed being able to put those types of trades on, sit on them with clearly defined risk, and then manage them more towards the end of the week. So that's kind of a recap on how it worked out this week. I will definitely be looking to put that trade on next week as well. And then if you would like to join us, we're going to be having a class next week as well. It starts on Saturday, but then we'll have some live trading with John and Chris. That will happen Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week for the live trading. And then the webinar will be um, on Saturday. The free part of this, if you want to check it out and you have time, it may be over by the time you get this video. The class will still be active, but Friday right there at the close, there'll be another chance to check out a free one. If you miss that, you can still sign up for Saturday and next week. So I hope you guys found that helpful, and I will see you at the next free video.